Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a back to school haul. This first half is actually just going to be the supplies. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I bought for Ryan as far as supplies and then I'll show you a few other things like a book bag and lunchbox and stuff like that. I am doing some more back to school shopping this weekend. I did buy him a few clothing items already and a pair of shoes. But I do want to go back out to the stores and grab a few more back to school clothing items and shoes. But that's going to be done this weekend. And I actually have to turn in all of his supplies tomorrow. Tomorrow is his meet the teacher orientation. And when we go for that orientation, we have to bring all the supplies with us. So that is why I will look different in the second part of the haul. Because that is going to be recorded on another day once I finish his back to school shopping for clothes and shoes. So let's just jump right into this back to school haul. If you guys don't already know, my son is going into kindergarten, so it is his first year of big boy school. He did go to school last year. He was in pre-K, but it was at our local church, and it was only half a week for half a day. So this is his first time actually going to school for a full day. So I'm a little nervous, but I am excited for him because I know he'll make friends and he's going to learn. So he will do well. So I'll just have to learn how to get over it because I'm still a little sad about him going to school for a full day. So all these supplies are for a kindergartner. This is the supply list that I was given and I had to buy for him. So I will start off with these two things. They needed some tissue box, some facial tissues. So I bought these two packs. This one is Frozen and then this one is spider-man and I actually bought these from Dollar Tree so very affordable a dollar I was gonna buy it from Target and I believe they were like $2.79 each So I'm glad that I found them at Dollar Tree and I picked them up. They want two boxes of those Then they wanted a box of Ziploc bags They also wanted some hand sanitizer. So I just got this Purell one with the little pump they also wanted a bag of some baby wipes. So I just got the Up and Up brand, which is Target brand. So got one pack of that. Next is going to be two spiral notebooks. They did ask for two notebooks. They wanted one blue and one red. And this is the brand Med. They didn't ask for a specific brand. For half these supplies, they did ask for a specific brand. For a spiral notebook, they did not. They just had spiral notebook, one red, one blue. So I picked up these two. Then they asked for a little case of dry erase markers, so I got him this one. They asked for a box of Crayola markers. They also asked for a 12 count of pencils. Then they asked for colored pencils by Crayola. Next is crayons. I'm not sure why they asked for so many packs of crayons, but they asked for three box of 24 count Crayola crayons. So I bought these ultra clean washable crayons. So yeah, I bought three packs because that is what they asked for. I'm not sure they usually ask for extra supplies for maybe some students that don't have the money to bring in supplies. Or I do know a lot of teachers end up having to spend money out of their own pocket for supplies. So I don't know if these are just backup crayons or what, but I just thought three boxes was a lot. But I, like I said, I know teachers spend a lot of money out of pocket. I have friends who are teachers and they tell me how much money they spend a year on stuff for their class. So I don't mind buying all these extra supplies. Um, they also asked for two bottles of Elmer's white school glue. They asked for some scissors. Ryan picked up these cute scissors. There was a few different styles. There was this baseball one. I believe there was like a football one, a basketball one, and a soccer, and he wanted this one. Next is going to be a lunchbox. I let him pick out whatever lunchbox he wanted, and he picked up this dinosaur one. He does have a lunchbox from last year from school that's still in really good condition. It's a Paw Patrol one, but I did buy him a bento box this year for his school lunch, and the bento box does not fit into his Paw Patrol lunchbox. So on days that I am using his bento box, I will use this lunchbox, and then days that I just use like his thermal for food, then I will use his other lunchbox. So yeah, this is the one he picked out. It's really cute. It's gray and black with a bunch of different dinosaurs. And then when you open it up, it's a pretty good size. When you open it up, it has a little pocket net right here where you could place some food right there. Super cute. And then in the front, it has a little pocket. And then on the side, it has some netting pocket. And then in the back, you can write their name on it. And to go along with that, I bought this Cat and Jack bento box. I was going to order one from Amazon, but then I found this one 
super affordable. I think it was like five bucks. It's called a bento box. It's leak proof and it's really cute. It's black with gray stripes and then the lid is blue. And then when you open it up, it has three different compartments. So it has this larger one and then two small ones right here. So I thought this would be a good way to store a lot of his food. He is going to be getting lunches from home. He won't be eating lunch at school just because he is so picky. And he also has a little bit of sensory issues when it comes to textures of food. So I'm just scared that if I let him eat the food in the school cafeteria, he won't eat anything. Like I said, he is very picky. So that's why I'm going to be packing his lunch. Then for his lunchbox, I also bought these silicone food cups and it comes with four and it's four different colors. It comes with blue, a like light green, a darker green, and then a pink color. So I thought this would be cute to put into his lunchbox to put all of his snacks in. And then I bought this sandwich cutter. It's just like a puzzle piece sandwich cutter. So anytime I make him a sandwich for lunch, I can use this. I do have a lot of little cookie cutters that I usually use for his sandwiches, but he really wanted this and I believe it was only like one or two dollars, so I picked up that. The next thing is going to be a book bag. Last year he did not have a book bag because the school already provided one, so this year we needed to pick one up. The only thing is I had a lot of trouble finding him a book bag. They were either too small where a folder would not fit in it or it was just way too big. He ended up choosing this one. He loves dinosaurs. He loves Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. So he picked up this one, but it's so big. It's literally half of his size. And I have it on the tightest it can go, the straps. It doesn't go any tighter. And it's so big on him. It's really low on him. So I don't know how well he's going to be able to wear this with all of his school supplies and stuff in here. And then on top of that, He's going to have to hold his lunchbox as well. So we'll see how that goes. Comment down below if you guys had trouble as well. But yeah, this is the book bag he picked up. I bought it from Target. I believe it was like $15 or $20. But it seems to be good quality and super cute. So that's what he picked out. And then the last and final item that he has for school are these Hot Wheels headphones. One of the things on the list was a pair of headphones. Each kid needed their own headphones. And I found this, guys, from Five Below. If you guys have a Five Below near you and your kid needs some headphones for school, I would definitely check them out. When I went to Walmart and Target, they were pretty pricey. The cheapest ones I could find, I think it was like $20 or $25. Found these at Five Below for only 5 bucks, And they are Hot Wheels Kids Safe headphones. And then on the side, it has... A car on it and he loves them they had different styles for boys and girls I saw spider-man I think I saw Batman I saw Hot Wheels I saw I think a Disney one and I'm not sure what other ones but those are the ones I know I remember seeing and then there was a bunch of also really girly ones so yeah these are the headphones that he chose out I did already write his name on it because like I said I need to bring this to school tomorrow okay no now this is the last item which is printer paper they asked for three packs of printer paper and guys this is ridiculous this comes with 500 sheets and I had to buy three of these because I couldn't find a smaller one I went to two different Walmart and I went to a Target multiple times every time I went they were sold out on smaller packages I don't know maybe I just went way too late but they were sold out and I had to buy these which comes with 500 papers each and I had to buy three packs so I don't know, his teacher is going to have a life supply of printer paper. So this is the last item that they asked for. Okay guys, so that is the last item as far as school supplies that I have purchased for my son to enter into kindergarten. And like I mentioned before, the second half of this video, I will look different just because I'm going to be recording it on another day. So I will see you guys in my second half of this video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Before this video starts, I just want to apologize. You're probably going to be hearing a lot of noise in the background. My kids are downstairs, which is right below where I am trying to record, and I had to turn on Peppa Pig for my daughter to keep her occupied. So you might hear some ruckus in the background, so I do apologize for all the background noise, like that. Um, but Ryan does go back to school tomorrow so I can start recording with less distractions and less background noise. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything I bought for Ryan for back to school for kindergarten. He does start kindergarten. If you guys are actually watching this video, it'll be his first day of school. So I'll show you all the supplies that I need to buy for him. And then also I'll show you guys all the clothes and shoes that I have purchased for him. You guys are going to see that Madison did not really get anything just because she is not starting school so she did not need back to school shoes or clothes 
and also she has a ton of clothes she has double the amount of ryan so if you see ryan's closet he has like a little corner a little section in his closet and you see madison's in her closet is literally full from the front to the back it's so packed that i'm always having to get rid of things and i'm always having to squish things in there so she has a ton of clothes she does not need clothes i will be doing clothes shopping for her once like winter and fall starts she will need a few more pieces for the colder weather but for now for summer she does not need anything she does not need any shoes i did buy her one pair of shoes just because i thought they were super cute and affordable so i didn't want to put it back so she did get one pair of shoes but other than that she has enough to last her for the next two years i'm telling you guys so yeah you're gonna see that everything is pretty much for ryan but there are a few items for madison that i found that i just had to grab so now let's just jump right into this back to school haul because i'm pretty sure that this video is going to be a little long Okay, so the first pair of shoes I'm going to show you guys is actually going to be Madison since she only did get one pair of shoes because she has a ton. She does not need any, but I could not pass these up. They are these rose gold shoes and they are so cute. They have like a glitter strap and it is a Velcro and it opens like that. And then right here it has the little logo of Oshkosh and I just thought these were so cute and the bottom is white and then they close like that. Um, this size is a nine and it is a little bit big on her, but her size eight, her foot's like right at the top and I want her to grow into them. I wish I could have found this in a half size because I think an eight and a half would have been perfect, but I could not. So these were $14.99 and I bought these from Burlington. A lot of the stuff is all mixed up. I bought some stuff from Burlington, Old Navy, Oshkosh, um, Walmart, and I think TJ Maxx or Marshall. So a lot of this stuff is all mixed up. So I will try my best to let you guys know where everything is from and also the prices. So this is the first pair of shoes for Madison, $14.99 from Burlington. And a few of these items are things that you guys probably would have seen in a previous haul or I think a vlog. But if you have not seen a previous haul or my previous vlogs, then this is the first time that you're going to be seeing these shoes. It is from Target. It is their Cat and Jack brand and these are for Ryan. These are so cute. I found these on clearance. They were in clearance for $9.98 and they are also like the little Velcro straps and I love them. The next pair of shoes are from Ross and they are by Nautica. I believe I showed this in, I think, A Day in the Life. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I showed you guys these. But these were on sale for $12.99 as well. Also with the Velcro strap, I feel like I have a hard time finding shoes with shoelaces for the kids. So a lot of times I do have the Velcro straps, but these are super cute. They are a little bit big on Ryan, so I'm going to have to put on like the thickest pair of socks I can find but these were on sale for $12.99 I couldn't pass them up these next pair of shoes were from Burlington as well and they are the Puma brand this is for Ryan all black and then the white little stripe there with the little Puma there and these were $29.99 so $30 and I just think these are just so cute and I was gonna get him an all white pair of shoes but for school and his age he's gonna get them dirty so fast so I figured the black would be perfect and then it has a little white on the side so those are his shoes and the last pair of shoes I bought from him are from Ross these were $19.99 and they are the brand Nautica and they're just gray shoes and then white striped on the side and then white in the bottom I just thought these were super simple and cute and really comfortable he tried them on and he loved them I just thought for the price $19.99 you could not pass up if you guys are looking for good name brand shoes I would definitely check your Burlington and also Ross I always go to like TJ Maxx and Marshalls sometimes I have a really hard time to find their sizes where actually TJ Maxx doesn't even sell kid shoes only like sandals but Marshall does and I always have a really hard time finding shoes so Ross and Burlington is a great place to find kids shoes for affordable prices the next few things are gonna be more like personal care items for the kids but I bought Madison this pack of Granimals tights for when it gets a little bit cooler out she has this really cute it's supposed to be a like tutu dress um, my friend gave it to us I think a year ago she was able to wear it last year but this year it still fits her but it's a little short on her but I don't want to give it up because it's so cute so I figured I would just put tights underneath so I bought this pack of three I'm not sure how much these were but I know they were super affordable next is going to be two packs of socks for Ryan so this one is from Walmart I believe they were like $8.99 and it comes with 10 pairs they're just white and gray 
just the low cut ones. He needed some more socks because I feel like we're always losing socks. Comment down below if you guys are always losing socks. I buy socks so much and I'm telling you guys, we have like one single pair of everything. So bought him a pack of white ones. And then these were from Burlington and, or not Burlington, these were from Marshalls for $5.99, also for Ryan. They're by the brand Reebok, and so a pack of 10 black socks. Next is going to be a pack of underwear for Ryan, and he honestly didn't need any more underwear, but I remember when I was younger, my mom, whether we needed it or not, every year when we go back to school, she would always buy us new socks and new underwear. So I bought Ryan one pack of underwear, and he picked out these Lego, like, superhero ones, a pack of five. Next two things are going to be pajamas for the kids. I really do need to buy them more pajamas. That's one thing that I feel like I go through a lot. I don't know why I feel like they grow through them so fast. But I bought Ryan this one. This one was from Walmart. It was $7.44. And it is just Thomas the Train. Super cute two-piece set. I know winter is going to be coming soon, so I need to start buying them winter pajamas. But I just thought this was super cute. And then Madison got a pair of pajamas from Burlington. These were only $7.99. I think that is a great price very affordable i've never heard of this brand it is called little star by kidex and it was a two-piece set for 7.99 so this first one right here it says watch movie eat popcorn sleep and repeat and it is a two-piece set they're both long sleeves so perfect for when it gets a little bit cooler out i'm so sorry guys this lighting let me see if i turn this off and then that is the bottom piece. Lighting did not get much better, but that's how that looks. And then there's a second one, and it has just a bunch of popcorn on it. And you guys cannot see it, but and then there's like stripes on this one. So that's how that looks. Now these next few items is going to be more for like fall and winter when it starts getting cooler out. I just found a few sweaters for the kids, or actually only one sweater for Ryan and a few for Madison that I could not pass up the deals. So the first one is from Carter's, and this was... $17.99 on sale. I just thought it was super cute and very affordable. $17.99. This is so thick. The quality is really good. It has a zipper that goes all the way down and it's really soft and comfortable. So I got this for Ryan. So when it starts getting a little bit colder out. So the next thing is a jacket for Madison. I fell in love with this jacket. I think it's so cute. It was on sale for $14.99 from Burlington. It's rose gold. And it's just like a faux leather jacket. I am in love with this jacket. It's by the brand Urban Republic. And yeah, for $12.99, I couldn't pass that up. The next sweater I bought for Madison is by Calvin Klein. This is also from Burlington. This was also on sale for only $6.99, guys. You cannot pass that up. So it's just a simple Calvin Klein little sweater hoodie. So when it starts getting a little bit cool out, I can put this on her. And then the last sweater I bought from Madison, also from Burlington, this was $9.99, and it is Nike, has a little Nike logo there, just black, and then inside it's like a hot pink, and also it just zippers down like that, so just thought when it starts getting cooler out, I can throw this on her. Now everything else is going to be clothing items. Like I said, I do have maybe one or two things for Madison, everything else is for Ryan. The first thing is this shirt, it says greatness comes in all shapes and sizes, and it's just like a bunch of cute animals on top. It's like a yellow color and then up here is like gray. So that is from Old Navy. This was on sale for five bucks. I bought him that. Next is going to be this shirt also from Old Navy for also five bucks. It is like a light gray. And then the sleeves have like a bunch of like jungle theme. And then it has I think like a tiger or something on there. It's just really cute. I thought this was a really simple shirt and it has a little pocket right there next is going to be for Madison I found this shirt at Old Navy for her as well it was on sale for $3.99 I couldn't pass it up super cute it feels so soft you guys my lighting is really horrible but it's like white and pink stripes and it goes maybe like up to here on her arms and I just thought that was really cute for $3.99 next is going to be another shirt for Ryan from Old Navy as well and this was also on sale for $3. It was $2.97, so I could not put this back. It is a shark shirt, long sleeve, and then it has like this little hoodie on top. And it does button up. So I thought for $2.97, why not? Next is going to be another shirt from Old Navy for... The tag says $10.99, but I know I did not spend $11 on this. I know this was on sale. I believe it was like $7 or $8, but it's just a simple blue shirt with three buttons right there. I thought it would look cute with like a pair of jeans or just some shorts. Next shirt, I believe I showed this in a haul if I'm not mistaken, but I did save it for him for school. And this was from, I think, Marshalls. 
can't find a tag. No, TJ Maxx for $4.99. And he's obsessed with dinosaurs and it's just a blue shirt with a pocket there and it has a bunch of little dinosaurs all over it. Next is going to be a Batman shirt that Ryan found at Walmart. It was only $3, so I grabbed him this. It has the Batman logo on the front and it's like neon yellow and black, so I thought that was super cute for $3. The next thing is going to be from Madison, also from Walmart. I just thought this was so cute. They're starting to bring out a lot of their winter and fall stuff. And I found this long sleeve shirt for $4.48. It's long sleeves. It has like a little ruffle detail right there. But that beautiful swan I thought was so cute and it's like a burgundy maroon color and then I thought it would go perfect with these pants it did have a pair of leggings that I think were supposed to go with it but I liked these leggings better and again my lighting sucks but it's white with like baby pink and gold stripes and I just thought that would go perfect with that top like that and the pants were also $4.48 Next is going to be for Ryan, a shirt from Burlington for $6.99. It is the Nautica brand, just a simple shirt with like the little logo right there. Next is going to be from Burlington also, $14.99, just a Calvin Klein, kind of like dressy shirt. So I figured now that it's summer, maybe I can still put this on him, but just roll up the sleeves like that. And then once it gets colder out, I can let him wear it as a long sleeve shirt. This would be perfect for like maybe one of his class parties or like picture day or something. So bought him that. Another shirt from Old Navy. This was only $3.99, simple tee. It's like a neon yellow with gray arms. Just like that, simple shirt. Next is gonna be another shirt from Walmart. This was $4.48. This is more of like a thermal shirt and it says touchdown hero with a football there. I thought this would be good for when it starts getting colder outside. Another shirt from Walmart. I just, I don't know why I fell in love with this shirt. This was $4.48 for Ryan. I think this is like the perfect fall colors, guys. So bought this for $4.48. I thought that was a great price for $4.48. So I bought that for Ryan. I only bought him one pair of jeans because I have a really hard time finding him jeans. I'm going to wait till more winter and fall stuff come out to go like shopping for more jeans. I'll probably go to H&M because I know they sell clothes like for different sizes as in like short, tall. So I'll probably have to go there. But I did find these from Oshkosh. And I don't know if I told you guys but that gray sweater I showed you guys was also from Oshkosh. But it's just these simple skinny jeans. And guys, I literally how to put it on the Tigus in here and it's still like falling off of him. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them, I might keep them. I'm gonna try to put a belt on him and see if they stay up. If not, I'll probably have to bring these back but I just thought these were really cute jeans. And when I bought them, they were on sale. They were originally $30 but I believe they were like 50% off. So I think I paid like 15 for them. Next is going to be a shirt from Ross for $3.99. I thought, why not? Super cute, blue shirt, has three buttons in the front. The brand is called Copper DM. I've never heard of it, but I just thought that was a cute shirt. Next shirt is also from Ross for $4.99 from the same brand. And this is a long sleeve shirt, black and gray with a little pocket in the front. As you guys can see, I'm buying a lot of long sleeve shirts as well because it is going to be fall soon in Georgia. It will stay hot, but I, usually by October, it starts getting a little bit cool out. So that's why I'm starting to buy things for winter and fall as well. Next is a short sleeve shirt from Ross for $7.99. Just a simple Tommy Hilfiger shirt, red, super cute. Next is going to be from Ross as well from that Copper DM brand, $3.99. I thought, why not? $3.99, super cheap, black with gray sleeves, another long sleeve shirt. Then I bought him this from Marshalls. It was $9.99, the Puma brand. It's gray with a little Puma logo right there. And then it has like some buttons right there. So super cute shirt. Then I bought him this Tommy Hilfiger shirt from Marshalls for $7.99. It's white with like navy blue sleeves and then the little logo right in the front. And then this shirt is from Marshalls as well for $7.99. It is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It's all white shirt with the logo right there. I know you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy putting my toddler, not toddler, he's not even a toddler anymore, my five-year-old in a white shirt, but it was so cheap and I just thought it was super cute. And if he does get it dirty, I'll just try to bleach it. But, and then it has like a number eight on the side. And then only two more things left. So this one is a Nautica shirt for $7.99. And it's a long sleeve shirt. 
And then I have this Nike shirt from Madison I thought was super cute. I bought it from Burlington. It was only $4.99, short sleeve shirt. Okay guys, and I like, now I only have two more things. I have another pair of shoes for Ryan. I can't believe how many shoes I bought him. I'm just realizing how many shoes we bought him, but I bought him a pair of Adidas. We went to the outlets and I found these Adidas shoes. They were, I believe they were on sale. Yeah, they were on sale for $45. So they're just these simple gray sneakers and then it's like red inside and it looks so cute on his feet. So bought these for him. And then I believe I might have bought him a shirt as well. Yeah, I bought him a shirt from Adidas as well. This was also on sale for $16.97, but there was an additional, I think like 30, 40% off. I know there was an additional sale on it, but it's just this blue shirt with the Adidas logo in the front. Okay guys, so that was the last item that I bought for Ryan for back to school. And I am now just realizing how many pair of shoes I bought him. I believe I bought him like, at least five pair of shoes plus he already has shoes in his room so he is set on shoes for a while but i also bought a lot of other really good things i think i got really good sale prices on majority of these clothes so he is set for a while once winter and fall come around then i'll probably have to buy him just some jeans and maybe a few more long sleeve shirts because he does have some winter clothes from last year that still fit him so he doesn't really need much so i'll probably just buy him like one more sweater and some jeans and maybe a few more shirts but he's good madison i'll probably have to buy her a little bit more for winter but yeah that is the end of my back to school haul i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already remember to hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i do upload a new video and i will see you guys next time bye